Hello students, welcome to Sorosa's classes. This video is Average Part 3 and in this video we will learn some new properties and formulas about average. Now one of the property of average is if each quantity is increased by a certain value say k then the new average is increased by k that is a new average is also increased by k so let x1 x2 still xn be the n quantities whose average is say x bar now if each quantity is increased by k that is x1 plus k x2 plus k so on till xn plus k then the average of these new quantity is x bar plus k similarly if each quantity is decreased by a certain value say k then the new average is also decreased by k the next property is that if each quantity is multiplied by a certain value say k then the new average is also multiplied by k suppose we have x1 x2 xn whose average is x bar then the average of px1 px2 so on till pxn would be px bar similarly if each quantity is divided by certain number say k where k is not equals to 0 then the new number or new average is also 1 by k times of initial average That is similar if x1, x2, xn has the average x bar, then x1 by q, x2 by q, so on till xn by q, where q is not equals to 0, is x bar by q. Next property is if x bar is the average of say x1 x2 till xm comma y1 y2 till yn where x1 x2 till xm are below x bar and y1 y2 till yn are above x bar then then x bar minus x1 plus x bar minus x2 till x bar minus xm is equals to 
y1 minus x bar plus y2 minus x bar so on till yn minus x bar that is the surplus above average is always equal to the net deficit below average net deficit below average note that this is very helpful in data interpretation section where there are large values and to be that are to be calculated and most of the time we just need the lump sum value so this property that is the surplus value above average is equals to the net deficit below average this is often very useful while solving data interpretation next is weighted average that is when we are when we are given average of groups instead of average of individual and each group has different number of elements then to calculate such average is called weighted average now suppose k1 k2 so on till kn at n groups with respective average as a1 a2 so on till an then the weighted average is given as k1 into a1 plus k2 into a2 so on till kn into an divided by k1 plus k2 so on till kn for example we have average salary let me change the color average salary of 10 employees in hr department is average salary of 12 employees in hr department is 18000 per month and average salary of 15 employees in account department is 16000 per month so if we have to find the average salary of all 27 employees we will do it as now here our k1 is 12 k2 is 15 a1 is 18000 and a2 is 16000 so the weighted average of 27 employees is 12 into 18000 plus 15 into 16000 divided by 12 plus 15 which is 27 which is equals to 456000 divided by 27 which is equals to 16888.88 